In today's video, I'll show you how I made this filler plate for my Harbor Freight 20 ton press. I made a CAD drawing so I can cut this out on my CNC plasma table. I'll also make a bending die to put a step bend in each end of this filler plate. Keep in mind, you don't need a CNC plasma cutter to make this. You can use a torch, a grinder with a cutting wheel, a bandsaw. There's many ways to tackle cutting this out. So let's head over to the plasma table and get started. This is our plasma cut filler plate. I use 3 16 material because that's what I had on hand. You can use whatever thickness material that you think is suitable for your situation. I put a two and a quarter inch wide hole in here. Some people may not want a hole in their filler plate. Some people may want a larger hole. So that's up to you in how you do that. This plate will be easily removable from the press. It won't be bolted in or welded in. It's just gonna be sitting in there from its weight. So you'll easily be able to remove that. I also cut in some quarter inch wide slots for mounting tabs or dowel pins. Um, you could put dowel, locating dowel pins in your press plates and keep those from moving around. Or in the future, if I make some kind of bending die, I could use locating pins to keep that in the center and keep it from moving around. Now with this, I want to keep this flush with the cross members in the press. So we need to bend these ends up. I need to do a step bend on both ends. So we'll try to make some sort of bending die so we can use the press itself to make a nice uniform bend on both sides. There's probably a ton of different ways you can bend these ends up. You don't have to bend it this way, bend it the way that you see fit. But I kind of like thinking about how to do things like that and make it repeatable. I haven't made any sort of bending die uh, to make a step bend like that. So I'm going to take some scrap and we're going to make something up and see if we can get that to work. Okay, so I ended up using quite a bit of scrap material to try to figure out how to make some sort of bending die. This is kind of what I came up with. I haven't done this before, so I'm not saying this is the exact way to do it. You can bend this in any fashion that you see fit. So this is going to be my base plate that I'm going to attach everything to. And since this is 3 16 we need to make a 3 16 step. So we're going to have our 3 16 material that we're going to weld on there. Now I cut this piece out to kind of hold this plate in, in place. When I'm bending, I don't want it to slide around. So we'll weld that on there as well. And this is going to be our upper plate that we're going to press down. So on one end, we're going to have to weld on 3 16 plate as well. And it'll do something like that. And then I thought about welding these on the end that all this will fit in between just to keep those two plates from coming apart when we're trying to bend this material. It may, may not be needed, but I'm thinking about it, so I'm just gonna put it in. So I'll weld that on both sides, weld one of these on both sides. So let's weld this together and see if we can make this work.
Thanks for watching.